Hello everyone, I'm Chang Woon Lee from South Korea and it's a great pleasure to introduce the series of my work about one of the most heavily and intensively studied topic of community structures in network science. I guess everyone here knows about this karate club and there are multiple review papers on this major scale structure with the heavily connected component. However, I would like to bring some attention to a particular aspect about this community detection. If you just learn about this community structure from, for example, on textbook and review papers, you may think that this is a, the problem of detecting the community structure. So for instance, if you detect a community from this particular example, you will get this result. But in fact, that's not always true because there are stochastic algorithms to detect this community. And by definition, when you use the stochastic algorithm, in principle, you can get this different result for each realization of the community detection. So it's literally an uh, inconsistent result and you may consider this inconsistency is not a very good thing or some kind of a limitation or error in this uh, stochastic community detection algorithm. But here's our first key question. Is it always bad or evil thing to have this kind of inconsistent result from stochastic algorithms? It turns out that we can actually use these different results for each realization as features instead of defect to investigate the network structure. So we can actually turn this uh, seemingly dark side into the light side. If you look at this co-occurrence matrix represent the, the fraction of root pairs belong to the same community. So it's uh, either one or zero for very clearly cut community structure. For example, this part or this part. They always belong together for every realization. In contrast, this particular three nodes have intermediate values, meaning that they sometimes belong to the left side and sometimes belong to the right side. So if you quantify this kind of uh, inconsistency in community detection for each node level, we can actually detect this bridge structure. We introduce this uh, community inconsistency or COI and it essentially measures how inconsistently is the node clustered with the other node or it represents the functional flexibility or bridge node somewhere between this tightly bound group and this tightly bound group and it mediates between these two groups which would be of course very important in, in various types of real world network. So to systematically study the properties of this community inconsistency, we analyzed some uh, model network system and some real world network and we found some interesting examples like an uh, outsider node in Chakari's Karate Club network where he has very large values of uh, community inconsistency but very small number of friends. In this Star Wars character network, we actually identified Luke Skywalker, the main protagonist of the entire series, has large values of community inconsistency and of course that doesn't mean that he's an outsider of this series. Because he's the main character, so he naturally interacts with lots of friends and enemies from uh, light side to the dark side. So we name him as a multiplayer. Recently we brush up on this old uh, measure of uh, inconsistency and uh, develop a new series of uh, inconsistency measures in both uh, entire network level and individual node level. And finally, we would like to give some criterion to choose the appropriate values of a community resolution, usually denoted by this gamma value in the famous modularity formula. And the large values of gamma enables us to discover the finer grained community structure. And the biggest problem was that there is no criterion to choose which values of a gamma would be the most appropriate for the each system. And by applying this inconsistency measure we find this kind of deep structure here here the belly or deep structure means that they are actually consistent in this range of a uh, gamma meaning that the community found in this range of gamma can be more reliable compared to the other part of the uh, resolution parameter we believe so that is our final message and perhaps the practicality of our work. So here's the summary. And our main message would be the inconsistency is not necessarily a bad thing. So in individual node level, we can actually identify outsiders and multiplayers. But by using the system-wide level inconsistency measure, you can actually use this to indicate the most meaningful communities or most meaningful scales of communities in a wide spectrum of the community resolution parameter. For details, of course, you can always check our real poster in one page PDF format on the conference website. And hopefully we finalize this second paper and let it out to the world very soon. Thank you for watching.